Okay, we're gonna do hard because I think hard is the default because of the uh, the little bar underneath that setting. So we'll select hard then. They say if you want to understand the streets, you gotta live them. Gangs, fixers, dolls, small-time pushers. You were raised by all, by them all. Down here, the long, the jungle, the kids, the weak, serve the strong. The only law in the night you have yet to break. Running the badlands, building scrapyards, raiding fuel depots. Life on the road wasn't easy. But growing up in the nomad clan has its perks: honesty, integrity, and a love of freedom. Qualities that few in Night City possess, and no amount of money can buy. Few leave the corporate world with their lives, few are still with their souls intact. You've been there, you've got the rules, exploited streets and weaponized information. There's no such thing as a fair game, only winners and losers. Try Nomad. I mean, I kind of like Street Kid too, but. Oh, let's do Nomad. I like that whole um, love of freedom thing. So, these appearance may sometimes affect the behavior of other characters. Select mail. I'm V. I'm V. Preset. Oh god. <laughs> that looks pretty awful. Let's start with this preset here. Yeah, three is fine. We don't want him to have perfect skin, so this is fine. No mohawk, no man bun. Actually, it doesn't look that bad. No, no eye coverings. Oh my god, what is up with that ponytail? That's just awful. J 
Jesus Christ. That's a little too much. That's that's too much hair. Too much hair. Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll do the, the pampered. <laughs> yeah, what's it called? The uh, <coughs> pampered do. Pampered door. The one with it that's big at the top. Let's see here. Maybe we'll do this one. Yeah. This one, we'll do this one. I don't know. That's a little too much. Maybe silver. Silver is good. There you go. I like squinty eyes when I make my character, so so maybe 12 is okay. What was that one? Oops. So 12. That's what I want. Okay. Eye color. Actually, I just wish that the X would be in the middle. Ah, this one's okay too. I'll go with this one. Twenty one different nose types. Okay. Fifteen. Fifteen's okay. Twelve is okay. Twelve and fifteen. Eleven is okay too. Let's 
so maybe 15. Okay. Big mouth, big mouth. 14 is okay. Twenty-one, that's a lot to choose from. Then we gotta get rid of this um, facial hair now to really see what's going on. So I said, get rid of it. Mm, stubble. Eight is okay. Five is okay. Nineteen is okay. Eight, twelve, what, nineteen? Too chubby. So maybe 19. Okay. Um, 12 is okay. Leave it at default. <laughs> Can't say no to stubble, so. Cyberware. This reminds me of Deus Ex. Well, I guess they all do. But I think that particular pattern, I think, was on the uh, the character in Deus Ex. Maybe that one. Maybe seven. This one's actually not too bad. Uh, I think seven is the best. Facial scars. He already got scars on his face, so. Acne scars. So I don't know we should, if we should add more scars on his face. So maybe not, because he already got those acne scars. His facial tattoos are pretty awful. Born to kill. It's almost as bad as that um, Joker tattoo from... Um, that movie. With the, uh, with the Joker with the tattoo across his head. Okay, these tattoos are no good. So, no tattoos, piercings. I don't like piercings. 
try to convince me otherwise. Oh no, I, I still. Oh, what is that on his neck? Is that part of the cyberware? No, what is that? There's like a. Um, is that part of the ta piercing? No, what is that? Where is that from? Or maybe it's just there. Maybe everybody has one. Okay. Let's not worry about that then. Yeah, these piercings are pretty awful. No lip piercings. That's interesting. Teeth. Lord. I just regular teeth. Eye makeup. Okay, I like two. Three is a little too much. Four is a little too much. I think two is pretty subtle, so. Yeah, two. Makeup color off, lip color. We're gonna go goth. <coughs> That's the difference between one and six. I think it might be too much. No lipstick. Cheek makeup. No. Blemishes. This blemishes on the neck actually looks pretty sexy, so. Oh, now it's gonna zoom out. Oh, oh, oh okay. Oh, oh, okay. How am I supposed to? Uh, okay, no, that's fine. The long nails are disgusting. Short nail. Oh, God damn. The only okay color for now, I think, is black. But we're not gonna do that. Nipples on or off. You know what? If I have the option to remove my nipples in the year 2077, I would probably do it. Because it doesn't have a function. <laughs> so, yeah. I would just say, yeah, go ahead and remove it. It doesn't. It doesn't have any detriment, right, from removing your nipples at all. So yeah, no nipples. Okay. That one's pretty sexy. So maybe this one. Body scars. Hold on. Turn that off. Maybe we just we just want scars. We don't want tattoos. Scratch mark. Oh god. That is awful. That's intentional scars. That's I'm glad I rotated this this character. If not, I'd have, I would have been stuck with that. Well then, one then, it's fine. Genitals off. Why would you want your genitals uh, removed? We're in Night City, we're gonna have fun. Penis size default. <laughs> oh. Pencil dick. Oh, make it big. All right, pubic hair. Oh no, I hate pubes though. 
That's the worst. Heart shaped pub pubes. Just, uh. Yeah, it's just gonna be smooth down there. That's it. Okay. Alright. Um. Cool. Determines your resistance, composure, and effectiveness in operating from stealth. Ooh, someone else is playing cyber, cyberpunk constant. Uh, increase crit damage, all resistances, increase stealth damage, reduce the speed. Okay. Technical know how it allows you to unlock doors and use tech weapons. Each increase in level will increase your armor by five. So maybe we'll take seven points uh, total that we have. Maybe we'll take two under technical ability. Reflexes, maneuver, uh, maneuver, maneuverability. In addition to increasing your overall s movement speed, each level in reflexes will increase your passive evasion from enemy attacks, crit chance, and man displayed. See, um, I don't like it when they're very specific like that. I don't know if I'm gonna enjoy the mantis blade, so I don't want to commit to the mantis blade at this point. Intelligent determines your net running proficiency. Uh, maybe one here. Body determines your raw physical power in addition to allowing you to force open doors. Each level of body starting from level 3 will add 5 health points, stamina points, fists and gorilla arms again with specific applications of skills. Damage with melee weapons. I, d I don't know if I'm going to enjoy using melee weapons or not in this game. Decreased movement penalty. Grabbing an enemy. Wielding it. HM HMG or defender. Increased movement while grappling an enemy. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to be grappling a lot. But we all we always need some HP. So maybe grab two here. Uh, tech weapons and armor. So maybe another one here in the tech ability, and then maybe one on the cool for stealth. Okay, pretty happy with that. Ready to go. That jacket though. Remove patch? What patch? What is he talking about? Remove patch. Okay. What patch? Backer. Electric coupling module. You said it was nothing serious when I came in. You said you were sure. Oh, we need to turn off that subtitle though. First time in Night City, pay close attention to the tutorials to learn more about the basic mechanics of the game. Or if you're already ex an experienced edge runner. Is that what they're calling us? An edge runner? Feel free to disable hints. Go to the database at any time during the game to access tutorials, as well as to read up on the most important topics of Cyberpunk 2077. Yes, I was wrong. Okay, just hush your mouth while I uh, play around with the uh, <laughs> with the option. Uh, here I don't see where's the uh, setting always look for another shop where they won't ask the lone nomad why he's hugging the border okay here we go uh, subtitles I hate subtitles so uh, English games you know because already I can I can hear them well I can understand what they're saying. I don't need to uh, 
read the subtitles while I'm listening to them talk. Uh, where would that be on there? I think that will be under gameplay or sound. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's make sure all the settings here are good. That's fine. Step aside. What? Got any idea what to do? <clears throat> I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Mm. And? And your chirping is not helping. I'm gonna bypass the coupling and rig a hot wire. Compressor will run on and on. It could seize up. Anyone ask your opinion? I don't understand what they're trying to do here with this car. Is it my car? Something's wrong with it? What's, what's the deal? Okay, let's see what happens. Am I just fixing it? It's like I was telling you. For someone else? Not shabby at all. The question is how long it'll last you. Yeah, it'll get me to Night City. I'll figure something else out there. I'm looking for someone. Jackie Wells. If you may be so doable, it sure was. Satisfy seeing that. Not a solid fix. Might as well have used spit and duct tape. It worked. That's what matters. So I don't understand. He took I took this car to get this guy to fix it. And then I guess the guy is saying you're wearing on my patience. Maybe I need new parts, and then, like, I fixed it myself. So why did I even bother to <laughs> come here to begin with if I'm just going to fix it myself? I, I'm confused. Antenna on this heap don't seem like it packs a punch. Not liable to hear much. You don't say. Uh-oh. Hey, Mike. Didn't know you had a customer. Uh, rolled in a few hours past. I I, I thought he'd at least called in. Don't to you me. swear to Mike. We're gonna hash it out. Don't you know you owe the sheriff a word when you pay his town a visit? To tell him what's brought you here. Maybe even over a cup of coffee. No need to worry. We won't be staying long. Didn't answer my question now, did you? Name's Andrew Jones. Probably heard of me. Nope. <laughs> I was just gonna say nope. I can't say that I have. Served in spec ops during the last war. Silver showguns? Ring any bells? I can't say that it does. Don't like to get along, do ya?
That a nomad vehicle? Might have expected that. If you have a problem, I'm willing to hear it. Let me tell you what my problem is. Nothing boils my blood like a fucking stream. Where'd your clan pitch camp? Are you one of those who believe everything the talking heads say? The nomads are the world's greatest evil? No. I'm a man that respects order. Corpse brought us that order, and I intend for it to stay that way. The corpse pay you and have you on a leash like a dog. You know that? Mm-hmm. But you don't want to see me bear my fangs. So I'll ask again. Where's your clan? There is no clan. There is no camp. I'm here alone. They ain't buying it. Nomads always stick to their packs. My family's in pieces. That's why I'm headed for Night City. Makes you an outcast among outcasts. Sure as hell hope you'll be on your way before long. I heard this place is famous for its hospitality. Glad to see it wasn't just rumors. You are damn right we are. When people come along who know how to behave, I saw a broadcast in comms tower on my way in. My antenna's down, and I need to radio someone. What you need's to hightail it out of here without another word. Ain't got no mind to see you drifting around these parts. Got it? <laughs> you like the sound of your voice, don't you? What's that, Drifter? What are you on about? Nothing. Nothing at all. Can we just kill him? Can I uh, run over him or something? No? It's a dick. Where am I supposed to go? Oh. Oh. It's beautiful out here. This area actually reminds me of um, GTA 5. Go to the telecom tower. What's that? Um, is that stealing? Because it's red. Better not do it. <laughs> He's barbecuing. What the heck? Kebabs. Ah, life's good, eh? His lips are not moving. Oh, is that Night City eh? on the horizon there? Did Mom send you? Let's see if you can go back and talk to the mechanic. The sheriff's already gone. Where, where's that mechanic? Uh, garage is over here. Oh, the, the sheriff is still there. What is he doing? I told you to disappear. Now don't test my patience. Ew. I have this arm. Oh, is that like a cybernetic arm? I just want to talk to this dude here. Oh, yeah, I can. It's red. I don't know if I should pick that up. Maybe that's considered stealing, but there's nobody here. What happened to that mechanic guy? So I'm gonna try and loot this. Okay, nothing bad happened, so I'm gonna continue then. The Unification War for Gonks. The Unification War is the most recent armed conflict to take place in North America since the collapse, lasting from January 2069 to June 2070. 
Although the Unification War is formally recognized as a war between New, New United States of America and NUSA and the governments of the free states, most scholars also classify the conflict as a corporate war. It is well known that the, news, that the NUSA was backed by military, Militech hardware, personnel, and other resources, whereas the free states received the significant yet tacit support of the Arasaka Corporation. Unification War is also sometimes referred to as the Metal War or Metal Wars, in reference to white use of armored cavalry units, so-called panzers. The bloodiest battle in the Unification War was the Battle of Ridgecrest. In just one day, at least 3,078 people were reported killed. North Carolina and South Carolina were on opposite sides of the war, allied with free states and the new set, respectively, while Night City maintained a neutral position of neutrality. So Night City is what? Located between South Carolina and North Carolina? The Unification War ended when all parties signed a Treaty of Unification in Arvin, South Carolina. Both sides claimed victory. Free states emphasizing that they had preserved their independence and NUSA boosting that they were closer than ever to reunifying a divided American people. The end of the Unification War, however, was not an end to conflict at large. The leading AI analytics software predicts another hot war will likely break out by 2080. 74% confidence. Interesting. Check out his computers, uh, computer here and see what, what, what's going on. Oh, this is a spam email. So how do I scroll down? Ugh. Nothing but spam. He's getting nothing but spam emails. That's one file. Shop inventory. Real man smell. KT Henry. A real man smells like brute. Okay, that guy left. He left his um his garage for some reason. I didn't try and steal my car. Climb the telecom tower and locate the control box. The sheriff's gonna come over and try to kill me, I'm sure. about now I can't even wow game is buggy as heck Hello? 
man. Come in. Ah, raised you finally. Willie McCoy, it's good to hear your voice. Fee. Wish I could say the same. Why can't you? You abandoned the clan. I can't help you anymore. I never knew you to be so cautious. Try and loyal. Rules are rules. The system won't work without them. It can't. Nomads get the work in these parts because it's nomad turf. Would it be a problem if you're still a backer? Should have stuck with them. Joined up with the Snake Nation like the rest. Snake Nation can kiss my ass. I need your help. One last time. One last time? Again? I have to find a client with my payload, but I don't know where he is. Hmm. Right place, right time. You were there? My car gave out. The electric coupling. It's a miracle I made it here. Maybe the client left a message. Could you check for me? Hmm. Sure. Last time, though. I mean it. Client's name? Jackie Wells. Huh. Actually left a message. He's waiting on a farm. Flicking you the geolope data. <laughs> Thanks, Willie. I owe you one. You do. Just don't get yourself killed. And don't call again. The veins, though. On his arm. He's a veiny SOB. How come I can't pick this up? There's something on the ground. Can I pick that up? I can't pick it up, even though it's showing that it's something that you can pick up. Wow. Okay then. No, no, no. Here comes the sheriff. Maybe. Okay. Whoa. Somewhere in one of these trailers, someone's playing Heroes of the Storm and got disconnected. Oh, why do they have um, yellow? Uh, yellow marks on them. Does that mean they have? side quest for me? Let's see. They're not even saying anything. I can't even talk to them. Oh. There's like a skull um, icon. Is that Keanu? No. Look, June. Go back to where you came from. Don't make me hurt you. Oh, wh whoops, sorry. I'm leaving now. They're all barbecuing. Do I know you? Uh oh. Well? Lips ain't moving. Creek. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. What does that sign say? Keep out. Excerpts from A History of the Nomads by B.B. Pyers. The first nomad code to protect and respect your clan, and especially your family. Your worth as much as your word. Share with others in your clan. Respect the privacy and well-being of your clan. Never put your clan in danger. Always take honest pay for honest work. New nomad code. Protect your family and clan in that order. Do not steal from anyone in your clan. Do not keep for yourself that which may help another in your clan. It's hard to imagine a group less inclined to wandering than farmers. But in fact, they were the ones who sparked the age of nomads, natural catastrophes, crops, crops ravaged by bioplagues, armed conflicts and martial law allowing corporations to speculate and prioritize lands. All of this forced them into a life on the road. The first clans recognized as nomadic were the Al Aldecaldos. Aldecaldos and the Jades, Jodes, followed shortly after by Snake Nation, Thalas Nation, Folk Nation, Blood Nation, and Metacorp, a total of seven nations. The nomad nations are divided into tribes, which are subdivided even further into clans and families. A family typically numbers between 10 and 100 people, while biggest nations can reach up to a million. At first, nomad activity was seen as anarchistic and subversive, mostly, as you can imagine, by corporations who quickly realized they wouldn't be able to control them. Because irony in all that is that it's thanks to the nomads that our cities were rebuilt after the wars and catastrophes that marked the first half of the 21st century. After all, families come together to build, not to destroy. That scared me. Thanks for the follow, Abo, Abo Mad. Oh, but I want to pick this up. Now it's forcing me to talk to Jackie. Oh, oh yeah, vinyl record. Take. <laughs> Loot before conversation. Are you Wells? And Jackie, por favor. I'm V. Seems you have cargo that needs to be moved. Oh, where I'm from, you share a bit about your soul before you talk biz. Huh? It's kind of like a custom. Or just good manners, you know? You're a man of principle? You need a backbone, cabron. At least you'll have that left when they've taken everything else. Why don't we start with you, then? NC native, right here. Got Haywood in my blood. I've never been to NC. That doesn't mean much to me. So, imagine a place where everyone's like your bro or sis. Or a <laughs> distant cousin, at least. <laughs> I think I understand. You don't have to like each other, but it's family. That's Haywood. That and everyone's back in iron. And you? I guess one could say I'm from my own Haywood. You and me, we're gonna get along fine. The cargo. What's inside? You sleep better the less you know. Got no idea myself, and that's a good thing. You don't know what we aim to smuggle? These are stolen corporate goods. Stolen? No. Oh, some gong lost the crate. Some other gong found it, passed it on. Now it's here. You know, butterfly effect or whatever. And there's no one looking for this crate? Ain't no problem if they look. 
Only a problem if they find it before it crosses the border, no? Let's load it in the car. I will. <laughs> started thinking you might not come. I got held up. And you weren't exactly easy to find. I decided to lay low, you know? The sheriff, he looked like one grouchy motherfucker. Yep. <sighs> what a fat ass. What a fat ass? What is that? The border is just 40 miles away. Oh no, 300 miles away. You have the manifest from the transport? Of course I do. But the fixer didn't give you the job deeds? He... he did. I was just making sure. Listen, friend. We're both professionals, ain't we? Hey, you, uh, sure you've moved contraband before? Why, are you nervous? Me? <laughs> ah, por favor. Well, uh, maybe a little. What's up with that helicopter? Looks pretty cool. Why is it flying sideways like that? What is it doing? Scan us and check our papers. <sighs> okay. I'll do the talking. Wait. Oh. Sorry. Whoops. How, how does this work? Okay, there we go. Direct your vehicle to the inspection area. <laughs> Security check will begin shortly. I got a real bad feeling about this. You know they'll notice if you're nervous, right? You have to calm down. Right, right. Yeah. Hand me the manifest. Don't need to see it. Grab these. Let me see. <laughs> it's marked LOA. Perfect. What's that mean? Lost on arrival. It means the cargo is flagged as to be lost as soon as it cross the border. Oh, so they know we're smuggling. They're about to find out. That doesn't even make any sense. The owner of the vehicle in the inspection area will report for further questioning. <sighs> Chingala madre. What now? Relax. It's all in line with procedures. It's all part of the plan. Hey, guess you know what you're doing, huh? We want the customs officer to turn a blind eye to our dubious docus. We'll need a sweetener. Do you have the credit chip with the bribe? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Forgot about that. Right. You forgot. I'll keep the engine running in case of a cock up. Do that. Um, I guess this is not the guy we're supposed to talk to. Um, Proceed to customs without undue delay. Well, that guy was trying to run me over. If you're armed, place your weapon here. Please report to room number two. What's up, Chu? You want some? 
How's it going? Room two. What do you want? Your lips ain't moving. Please sit. Papers. Is this routine? It might be. We'll see. Hmm. What are you transporting? It's all in there. Everything? If anything's wrong, just say so. I'm sure we can figure it out. I haven't said anything yet. The question is, should I expect to find anything out of order? I don't understand the whole LOA situation, though. It's like... If you know that the item is going to be LOA, and then LOA is considered illegal, then why do they even bother to begin with? There's one additional closure to the manifest. Trying to get through the border. I, I... Ah, yes. Remind me, you drive for which nomad clan? None. No clan. I drive for myself. Bold. And none too wise. You know, whenever I see someone like you, I'm oh so grateful not to be on that side of the table. The feeling's mutual. Go on now. Your associate's waiting for you in the car. We pay them a thousand dollars. Don't forget to take your personal items. Oh. Um, my gun. Ew. Well, Be careful oh. with that toy. And welcome to Night City. Those little shits imagine Night City is some kind of paradise. What can you do? Young, naive, which is just a euphemism for ignorant. Oh, you're gonna drive? Okay. I'll tell you soon. We need to get out of here. Yeah, okay. You're gonna tell me what happened back there? Let's say I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, that happened a lot to you? Rarely. Smelling trouble around the bend? Drive, Jackie, just drive. Yeah, and step on it, please. Someone's coming our way. This does not look good. Where, who, what, where? Stop your vehicle immediately. Let's get out of here. On it. Transporting contraband that is corporate property. I repeat, stop the car. Damn. Where is he taking us? Uh, why? Return to seat, double tap. Why? Okay. I'm double tapping Y and I'm not going back in. Huh? Why is that? Nice.
shit. Gotta keep moving. Oh, what's going on? B, watch it. have the balls to say so I don't know yet is it border security tipped off the corporation that we have their cargo what's the deal with these borderlies flipping us the fingers they fucking please with no consequences he took a risk he assumed we didn't have a clan backing us and he was right <sighs> so what now we've crossed the border now you pay me and we go our separate ways yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I'm a bit light. I can't pay you now. I have something for you once I collect my scrap for this corporal crap we're carrying. Huh. And you just figured I would sit by patiently. Actually, I wasn't gonna pay you at all. I was just gonna bust ass and disappear as soon as we crossed over. But you're all right. The only time when someone would do that is if they're sexually attracted to you. Because <laughs> why would you say I'm alright? You don't know me. Long. So you tricked me. Oh, well, apologies for offending the spotless moral code of a smuggler. So, what's next? Now we take a peek inside. It's gonna be a bomb. I ain't opening Open that. It. You want to open it? You open it. I don't know if your client's going to be happy getting an open package. It usually means trouble. Fuck the client. You got to start working for yourself sometime. No commission, no middleman. And I need to know what I'm selling if I'm going to try to find a new buyer. Aw, oh, shit. It says Arasaka on the crate. We are robbing some heavy hitters. And maybe we'll make some heavy money. Oh. I miss a real iguana. Yeah. What? Lesser Antillian, I think. Lesser Antill what? Yeah, I watched a thing on TV about them. Went extinct like 30 years ago. They're from the Lesser Antilles. You come a long way, my scaly friend. Don't poke it. Think you can make some money on it? Sure. Think it'll make us happy. Us? Yeah, partner. We'll go half seas. Any decent fixer will find a loaded gunk interested in a rare gem like this. It's kind of a shame, though. I always wanted a pit. Got the name Manny all thought out. Hey, by the way, you uh got any plans for what you'll be doing in Night City? Why do you ask? Because I got this feeling you got a lot of time and nothing to spend it on. And then see in a city that lets you get by without buddies. But don't you worry. Let me help you find digs. You gotta live somewhere. It's important to have people you can turn to. You know, like uh, family. Maybe you'll find your own down in Night City. I was pretty sure that iguana was gonna bite my finger. Thanks, much appreciated. Hey, come on, it's nothing. You got chemistry, you and me. Be a crying shame to waste it. Really? Partner. Yeah. <laughs> Aww, cuddly little fucker. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. You know what, Jackie? You're not all bad yourself. <laughs> you don't mean that, my 
It's like, it's just so funny. He just met me. He doesn't know anything about me. And then it's like, oh, yeah, we, we work well together. Like, really? Okay, partner. That's not very convincing. Time to grab the lizard and scurry out of here. Oh, yeah, he's going to bite you. <laughs> Jesus. Check we're looking for somewhere in this building. Probably crawling with the pendejos that kidnapped her. Eyes and ears open, all right? Half a year later. Speaking of which, got you a little something. Little dick training shard. In case you need to uh, brush up on your dance moves. Down for some target practice in VR? Militech? Jack, we're talking classified military great shit here. How'd you get it? Debug. And our girl made a couple adjustments. Why? Think she knows better? Nah. Said it didn't suit her uh, style. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. Sure. Why the hell not? Let's begin with basic combat training. This session will be recorded for subsequent evaluation. Okay. How do I save? Can't do that right now. Can I save right now? Okay. All right. So, um, what is it saying that I've only played for 40 minutes? I thought I played for an hour. All right, we'll continue from this point uh, next time. So, uh, yeah, the relationship between your character and Jackie there. I mean, it's not like the way that he he was just like so trusting of you from the beginning of the game. It's just not very convincing. And then they don't allow you to uh, to go on adventures with him like for the first half a year and all of a sudden like you're half a year ahead and then why are you if you're already done if you've already done missions and together with Jackie why is it that now you have to go through this um, simulation to <laughs> to freshen you up I mean I thought that you've been doing missions with him so there's some things that, that are not making sense in this game but the game looks really beautiful. Um, plays all right so far. But uh, yeah, we'll we'll continue on our um, Night City adventures next time. <laughs>